Hello, welcome to another edition of Best MMA Picks. I'm your host, JD, and we are kicking off the uh, predictions for UFC Fight Night 96, Portland, Oregon, close to my home. Uh, wish I could be there, but I can't. I've got other commitments here back in uh, my hometown. Um, but we will go ahead and break down this card. Uh, we missed a breakdown on our last card. Uh, mainly due to a lot of the changes with YouTube and Google Hangouts that were uh, made apparent the last couple of weeks and month. Um, and we also had, uh, there were just a lot of technical difficulties with our streaming and um, just wasn't really feeling the streaming program that I was using. And back on Google Hangouts again, which I wasn't able to get the last time I streamed. And um, I'm hoping that this stream comes out all right. I think that it will. Um, but anyway, thank you for being patient and bearing with us there. We will get back to our normal broadcasts here and um, hopefully better quality picks. Our last um, card, we didn't do too bad, actually. I believe we were like five and five and two or something along those lines or six and two. And uh, most of our picks came out winners. The two that lost were actually our largest and most confident bets. Go figure. But the rest of our picks were pretty solid. Uh, I think overall we ended up slightly ahead. Um, but this this card we will do better. Uh, I'm pretty confident of that. And so let's just go ahead and get down and break down the main card. I'll give you my picks for the main card, and then I'll give you get picks for the, the undercard. Starting off with our first fight um, of the main card, Luis Smoka versus Brandon Moreno looked at some fo footage on both of these guys in the past. I've seen a lot of footage of Luis Smoka. He's been a UFC veteran and he's um, kind of a UFC up and comer, I guess you would say he's had some pretty good matchups and he's kind of came out on top on a lot of those. Um, he has had, I believe one loss in the UFC, if I remember correctly. Um, and Brandon Moreno was actually an ultimate fighter contestant under, um, Joseph Benavides, Team Benavides, and uh, he looked really good. He looked pretty good in the Ultimate Fighter. He's pretty slick on the ground. Uh, he's got some pretty good, decent stand up. But uh, if I'm to compare the two of these guys, I just feel like the more crafty fighter would have to be Luis Smoka. And I don't think that Brandon Moreno is going to get him anywhere in trouble on the ground, even with a world champion BJJ credential. I, I don't see Luis Smoka being intimidated whatsoever. Um, he's grappled with really high-level BJJ guys. I, I don't see him being intimidated what, at all. Um, and I see the striking matchup going to Smoka on the feet. Um, I see a finish here, honestly. So I'm going with Luis Smoka to defeat Brandon Moreno by TKO. Next fight, Joshua, the People's Warrior, Berkman versus Zach Otto, the Barbarian. Um, I haven't honestly seen a whole lot on Zach Otto. I want to look at some more YouTubes of the guy. I want to do a little bit more research on him before I make a call on this one. So we could see an underdog bet here, depending on what I see. Um, but I like Joshua Berkman here. I think he's a veteran. I think he's definitely looked better coming down, um, in weight. Um, he's looked stronger. Um, I think that, uh, I think that he's going to more than likely get the, the win here, probably by a decision, but we could see a finish depending on, um, you know, depending on how good this guy is coming in. Um, it looks like he's a submissions expert, which Berkman shouldn't have any problems dealing with. He's very experienced. He has experience on the ground and experience on the feet. He's, he's, he's got a really good grappling background wrestling um so he's very knowledgeable very knowledgeable mma fighter um and i you know he's definitely got mileage on him he's getting older but i i give the advantage here the experience advantage to berkman um and the toughness advantage i'd give to berkman even though i haven't really seen, seen a whole lot of auto uh just being that he's a newcomer i you know i tend to side with um 
unless there's something ridiculously special about newcomers, I tend to side with whoever the veteran is. So going with Berkman here to defeat Otto by decision. Next fight, we have Will Brooks versus Alex Cowboy Oliveira. This one could be really interesting. Um, Oliveira's coming in as a uh, pretty heavy underdog here. Brooks is definitely the guy uh, who's defeated Michael Chandler twice. Uh, Very athletic, freakishly athletic guy. Very uh, driven UFC fighter. Um, And he wants to get a title shot. Ranked number 11 right now. I, I don't see him running through Alex Oliveira. I see a decision win here for Will Brooks. But we could. this is one of the fights of the night that I believe could be an upset. But I'm still going to go with Will Brooks here to defeat Alex Oliveira. I'm going by, uh, by unanimous decision. And uh, I think this one will be a pretty dominant victory for him. Especially if you can get Oliveira on the ground on his back. That'll definitely be problems for him. Brooks has some terrible, uh, some wicked ground and pound and wrestling. Um, but yeah, I think he's going to dominate and control Oliveira. Oliveira isn't really high high level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but he does have skills that he's picked up from, from training with some of the best. So, you know, he's always, um, dangerous on the ground, not particularly off his back, but, um, you know, from top position and against the cage, he's very dangerous. So we could see a TKO victory here as an upset, but the most likely scenario here is for Will Brooks to defeat Alex Oliveira by unanimous decision. And the last fight of the night, the one fight that I think that I'm probably going to go with the slight underdog on, um, John Lin- hands a stone Lineker versus John dot the magician, John Dotson. Should be a great fight. I'm really looking forward to this one. I love watching both these guys fight. And I'm just hoping that that neither of these guys, well, I know which guy would come out gun shy, and that would be Dodson. And that could be to his detriment. Um, But I have a feeling that both these guys are going to come out swinging um, because of the fact that Dodson in his last fight did come out pretty gun shy. I think he's going to probably not make that same mistake. He's probably going to try to take some risk and get the job done. We could see an early KO for one of these guys. Give the speed advantage to Dodson. I give the power advantage and the toughness to John Lineker. This is going to be a very interesting. Whoever connects first, I believe, is going to probably get... um, It's going to take the advantage of the fight here. Um, It could go to decision. I don't think it does. I think it probably lasts a round or two, honestly. I think these guys are both going to come out hard. Um... People might disagree with me on that, but I could see there being an early finish here between the two of these guys. But all of it kind of depends on which John Dotson shows up. Gunshy John Dotson or, you know, the John Dotson that we've seen some some pretty legitimate KOs from. Um, I think we're going to see the, 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 the earlier John Dotson, the KO John Dotson. And I think he's going to take some risk here. Um, he's not going to run the risk of getting hit by Lineker. He's either going to pick him apart with a good strategy or he's going to come out and he's going to come out aggressive and try to knock him out. I I more than likely see him trying to be dodgy the way, you know, using that speed advantage and uh, that could really frustrate Lineker. Um, But if John Dodson comes out aggressive, that might be actually to his detriment because Lineker will walk right through his punches And he will land one right on the button or in the ribs. And when he does, um, Lineker just has a way of making guys go down. And I don't, and John Dodson's not one who likes getting hit, as we saw in the Mighty Mouse Johnson fights where he was getting battered against the cage um, with knees and elbows. Um, Eventually, those took their toll on him. And he tends to slow down quite a bit when he gets hit in the head and in the body. So a couple good shots from John Lineker, I think will do uh, John Dodson in. I think psychologically he'll break at that point. So I'm going with John Lineker. I think he's a tougher man. He's mentally tougher than John Dodson. Um, The lines are even, which makes me think that a lot of smart money is going in on Lineker here. So I'm going with my gut. I think Lineker is going to get it done. It's going to be close or it may be a pretty big finish. 
it, I don't know what's going to happen with this fight. My gut, you know, would initially choose Dotson though, but I just I got to go with Lineker here. I think he's going to he's going to get a title shot. So that's my prediction for the main cards. I'll give you a quick rundown of the early prelims and the prelims. These are all taken with a grain of salt. Um, we will not be placing bets on all of these. If you want our official picks and bets, um, you can go to our Capper Tech website profile, Best MMA Picks. Um, and it's actually in our description below in our, in our video. We also post those picks and a link to them in our Twitter feed pinned to the top just before the fight start. You can get those free of charge. Absolutely no payment necessary. Um, we do this for fun. And, um, you know, we do this for, uh, you know, to build a fan base. So uh, hopefully those cash in for you and win you some money. Uh, so, yeah, our gut picks for the night. Kelly Fasholz versus Caitlin Vieira. Going with the Brazilian here to get the job done. I think she's going to make it 7-0 and and stay undefeated. Cody East and Curtis Blades. I, I'm going to go with the superior NC2A wrestler Curtis Blades to get this one to the ground or get a KO, one of the two. I think he's going to use his wrestling skills here and uh, get the job done by decision. Jonathan Wilson, Ian Kutalaba. I'm going to go with Johnny Bravo here to get the job done by KO. Nate Marquardt versus Tamden Barncat McCrory. Oh, boy, this one's a tough one, but I think that uh, both these guys are veterans. I think Tamden McCrory just has more ways to win this one. I'm going with the barn cat here, but after seeing his last fight where he got knocked out, it's very difficult for me to pick him again, but I'm going with the barn cat. I think he's a smart pick still. Kita Nakamura versus Elizio Zaleski Dos Santos. I'm going to go with Dos Santos here, or Zaleski Dos Santos to get the job done by KO. Shamil Abdurakamov versus Walt Harris. I'm going to go with Shamil here to get the job done, and I'm going to do it by decision. Hakran Diaz versus Andre Feely. I'm going with Hakran Diaz to out-muscle and just outclass Andre Feely. Henrique De Silva versus Joaquim Christensen. I'm going to go with the Brazilian here that's undefeated. I think he's going to get a finish here. I think he's going to get a TKO. So that about does it, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry this was late. And uh, thank you for um, your diligence here with us and still viewing our video. Um, things will get better. I do promise you that. Um, now that we're back up on Google Hangouts, I'm definitely um, going to be pumping out more videos. It's been very busy for me. We've got some exciting stuff happening very soon got some online stores that i've been working on and one of them has to do with some mma stuff so should be pretty cool um that should be coming up very soon and uh thank you for tuning in everybody enjoy the fights have a safe weekend and uh over and out